Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. For the last few days, we've been dealing with the notion of average. Today, we're going to continue the topic. Today is our lesson number 70. Here's the problem we are told that the average of five numbers is 15. We have five numbers, and their average is 15, we are told. They go on to tell us that the one number is removed. One number is removed and as a result, the average drops to 13. Average drops to 13. The question is, what's the number that is removed? What number is removed? What I want you to do is pause the video, solve the problem yourself. Once you have solved it, then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Okay? I'll give you five seconds to pause and unpause the video. Here we go. Well, obviously there is a classical way, there is a traditional way, orthodox way, nerdy way, geeky way, academic way to solve this problem. But that's not what I want you to do here. I want you to understand something different. Here's what's going on. We have five numbers and we are told their average is 15. We know that as long as, as long as the numbers are evenly spaced, the average is simply the middle number. But there is nothing better than making the numbers evenly spaced than to simply make a whole bunch of them 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Voila. What do you suppose the average of these five numbers is? Of course it's 15. We can't be even more evenly spaced than that. They are all the same numbers. The average of this number is 15. We're going to remove one number. One number, we are told, is removed. And as a result, the average is 13. Well, let's make all of them 13. 13, 13, 13, and 13. This guy needs to be 13 as well, obviously. This guy needs to be 13 as well. So, what number did we remove? First of all, we have to remove the number itself. We have to remove this guy. And we have to take away 2, 2, 2, and 2. We have to take away 8 more. The number that we removed must have been 23. The number that we removed must have been 23. That's it. We are done. If you like, if you insist on it, we are going to very quickly do this problem in a classical way, but it is thoroughly unnecessary. In a classical way, what we need to understand here is this part. The old average, old average was 15 times the other, the old total. The total total of all of these five numbers was 15 times 5 because 15 was the average and there were five of them. And then we went ahead and removed one number. Obviously, we do not know which number we removed. We removed one number and that is our unknown. And as a result, the new average we are told is 13. But what do we divide this, this, uh, this total by? This is the old total minus the number that we removed. We divide it by 4 because now there are only 4 of them. That's the equation we need to solve here. That's the equation we need to solve here. Since we started this thing, we're going to finish it. So it's 75 minus x equals 13 times 4. 75, 75 minus x equals 13 times 4. And therefore x is going to be, x is going to be 75 minus 13 times 4. And 13 times 4 minus 75 minus 13 times 4, I guarantee you, will come out of it 23. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. One more problem, a new problem. An average of five numbers, we are told, is 15. They go on to tell us that one number is added. One number is added. And as a result, the average, we are told, goes up. Average, we are told, goes up to 21. What's the number that is added? Pause the video if you like, if you want to do it yourself, and then we'll do it together. It's always a good idea. So, there we go. I'm going to give you five seconds to pause and pause the video. I do want you to do it yourself you will get more out of it. So we have five numbers with the average of 15. Nothing better than to simply make all of them 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There we go. 
the average of these five numbers is 15. Now we're going to add one more number and then as a result the average shows up to 21. Average shows up to 21. So this new guy that we're adding, first of all he needs to be 21 himself and then he also needs to make up he also needs to make up for all the deficiency that we see here. In order for this guy to be 21, we need to add, we need to give him 6, we need to give this guy 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 6. Everybody has to be given 6 in order for all of them to be 21. Remember, average we learned before, we learned before that average is a egalitarian concept. We are looking for the magic number that makes everybody equal. Egalitarian means everyone is equal. Average is an egalitarian concept. In order for everyone to be equal, each of these five people need to be given six dollars. Think of think of this thing in terms of dollars if it makes it easier. We need to find we need to we need to have thirty more dollars. So the new number we added must be the new average plus the thirty dollars that we have to make up for. We must have added the new number that we added. We must have added fifty one. Again, if you like. We can do it in a classical way. The old average was 15 times 5, then we added one more number, now we have 6 number, and as a result the new average is 21. Which means 15 times 5, which is 75 plus x. 75 plus x has to be 21 times 6. 75 plus x. 75 plus x has to be 21 times 6. Therefore x is equal to, x is equal to 21 times 6 minus 75 and when you do that I guarantee you it will be 51 it will be 51 let's do one more shall we let's do one more now if you want to actually verify this thing the fact that it is uh, 51 if you want to verify it we could do that too actually there's no need to verify let's just do one more Let's, let's just just do one more. We are claiming that we are adding 51. We are claiming that we are adding 51. Since I opened my mouth, we can't just leave it like that. Let's verify it. Where can we verify it? We need the room. We are claiming that the new the, the number that we are adding is 51. So let's verify it right here. The old sum was 75. We are adding 51 to it. That's 6. 126 is the total sum, and there are six of those numbers. 126 divided by 6 better be the new average, which is 21. And we can clearly see that it is 12 divided by 6 is 2, 12 has 2, two sixes, and 6 has 1 6. There you go. 126, which is, the, which is the new total, we divide it by 6 people, the average is 21. That's our verification that that number is in fact correct. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Average of five numbers we are told is 15. One number is added. One number is added. As a result, the average, the average we are told, the average we are told goes down to 13. Average we are told goes down to 13. What's the number that is added? Very simple. We have five numbers, 15, 15, 15, 15 and 15 and then we're going to add a number so that the average drops down to 13 so let's make it 13 all of these numbers need to be 13 as well we need to take away 2 from this guy 2 from that guy 2 from this guy 2 from this guy and 2 from this guy we have to take away 1 2 3 4 5 we have to take away 10 we have to take away 10 let's line up the digits properly I don't like it the way it came out which means, which means the new number that we are adding must be 3, must be 3. And this is also a very quick thing to verify. The old sum was 75, we are claiming that the new number that is added is 3. So if you add 3 to it and divide by the number of numbers which is 6 now, because we had 5 before and that's the 6th one, 78, 78 divided by 6. Let's divide 78 by 6, shall we? How many 6 does 7 have? 7 has. 7 has 1 6. The remaining one goes and joins the 8 becomes 18. The remaining one goes and joins the 8 and becomes 18. 18 has 3 6's. 18 has 3 6's. Voila. The new average, or rather, the new average, the new average is indeed 17, uh, 13 rather. 
the new average is indeed 13 the new average has indeed gone down from the old average of 15 to 13 I'll see you tomorrow okay bye now